See, people associate white and black with good and bad, and that's just simply not the case. One of the benefits of being grounded and centered is that you'll be able to equally use both, because people are usually better at one over the other. If you're more negative, you're going to be better at black magic and with the pillar of severity. If you're more positive, then you're probably going to be better at white magic and drawing things to you. If you're grounded and centered, you're going to be equally good with both, which makes for a more productive month for myself magically, when I don't have to wait for the appropriate moon phase to come around again. I can do magic all month long. <laughs> And so that's the real difference between black magic and white magic. And I said I was going to tell you about a little story about magic gone awry. And in that particular case, I was using black magic. I had a certain undesirable situation I wanted to give a little push to and get rid of. And so I broke out a little bit of destruction oil which is really, really nasty stuff. Uh, I don't even like to get that on my hands. I don't even like to open it in the house. But I did the ritual, and when I was cleaning up, instead of just getting rid of the tray that I had this on, I'm like, I'll just wash it in the sink. And I should know better, okay? In fact, I think I told you guys not to wash things like that down the sink. But I'm tired from the ritual, I know that's no excuse, but I ended up washing it in the sink anyway. Within an hour, um, there's an easement between my house and the neighbor's house and the sewer um, opening is right there. There were some workers out there and I heard them say, I couldn't hear everything they were saying, but I heard them say something about water pressure. So I checked the water and guess what? I had no water. <laughs> a water main had broke. And so I had no water for a day and was under a boil order for the next two. And people can say that's just a coincidence. Well, yeah, magic is a coincidence. <laughs> it's always going to take the form of coincidence. Even when things go wrong, it's going to take the form of a coincidence. And it probably didn't help that the ritual remains that I did get rid of, I buried right next to that sewer opening. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Lessons learned. <laughs>